Love to dive, but searching for a different type of dive vacation? Do you want to help present, promote, and protect the world of water? Are you interested in becoming a citizen scientist and helping the New England Aquarium further its mission? Then you should sign up for a New England Aquarium Marine Specimen Collecting Expedition. Then the rest of the week we're going to work our way towards the Berry Islands, stopping and collecting along the way different sites. We'll do a wreck dive. We'll do night dives, uh, we'll do one deep dive, which will be really fun, different animals you'll see down there, different things we want to collect off of our wish list, and we'll just dive as much as we can all week. Twice a year, the New England Aquarium travels to the Bahamas to collect fish and other marine organisms for our various tropical exhibits. These trips are funded by the volunteers who sign up to join us on the expedition. The volunteers who participate in these expeditions have the opportunity to learn how to humanely collect fish and other marine organisms, how to care for them once they are captured, and how to prepare them for safe transport back to Boston and their new home at the New England Aquarium. During these trips, participants join the crew of the RV Coral Reef 2, a research vessel based in Miami and specifically outfitted for marine specimen collecting. It's owned by the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago, and the Coral Reef 2 will be your floating home for the duration of your expedition. It's an 85-foot long aluminum-hulled working research vessel, and it's Coast Guard certified and designed as a floating marine creature collection and research platform. It has holding tanks of various sizes to house the fish and other creatures collected on the trip until the ship returns to its home port of Miami. It's a working research vessel, so the accommodations are not plush, but they are quite comfortable. With two bunks per cabin and seven cabins, the Coral Reef 2 can comfortably accommodate 14 guests along with three crew members. The crew includes two U.S. Coast Guard licensed captains, Captain John Rothschild and Captain Lou Roth, and a top-notch chef who also serves as the first mate. Most trips also include three New England Aquarium staff people who work with the ship's captains to plot out our itinerary, which is driven by the creatures that are on the wish list prepared in advance by the staff of the aquarium in Boston. We have a nice wish list that we use to work off of what we need, what we know works back home in Boston. There are three staff from the New England Aquarium who usually lead the trips. They are Sherry Floyd, a senior aquarist and patty dive master, She's worked at the New England Aquarium since 1994. Sherry is the principal Bahamas expedition leader and has participated in over a dozen Bahamas collecting expeditions. She has been leading expeditions for the New England Aquarium since 1998. Sarah Taylor is a senior aquarist and has worked at the New England Aquarium since 2004. She's been participating in warm and cold water collecting expeditions since starting at the aquarium. Sarah is one of the primary Bahamas expedition leaders and is also a PADI certified open water scuba instructor. And finally, there's Barbara Bailey, who is the manager of the husbandry department and the assistant to the general curator, director of husbandry. As a longtime aquarium employee, she started there in 1985. Barbara has been participating in aquarium collecting expeditions since 1988 and co-leading trips since 2006. Barbara is also a PADI certified rescue diver. Although it's a working vessel, the Coral Reef 2 is also a comfortable floating platform on which to work and relax. Diving from the Coral Reef 2 is easy. A large back deck with ample space to store your gear and to suit up. Wide stairs lead down to a wide dive platform on the stern of the boat for easy giant stride entries. Two ladders make returning to the ship after your dives easy. Typically we do three to four dives a day. If we're motoring, like this trip, we're starting in Bimini and going to Berry Islands. So we're gonna have to shave off a dive that day in order to get there to the Berry Islands, but it's worth it, it's so beautiful. After a hard day's diving, one can sit back and relax, enjoy a great meal prepared by the onboard chef, and also enjoy the company of your shipmates. We're very selective with our wish lists. Say we know we want four reef butterfly fish this time, and that means two bonded pairs. We want two pairs of butterfly fish. They mate for life. We know we're, we're gonna, if we get one, we have to get the other one. We're not gonna just take one of those fish. We're gonna take both of them. If not, we just let them go. Um, and then we also collect fish for the other, other little tropical tanks within the aquarium. So we work with the aquarists back home with what they need. 
Most specimens are collected using hand nets. It's a method that doesn't overly stress the fish or cause them any harm that could occur with other collecting methods. But it is a bit more challenging. We also use other collecting techniques for specific types of animals, such as barrier nets for schooling fish and beach seine netting for inshore species, needlefish, and many types of juveniles. All the collecting techniques require teamwork. In most cases, two to four people will work together. The team leaders from the aquarium and the ship's captains will provide training in all collecting techniques while you're on the coral reef too. Once the animals are captured, they are placed in holding tanks on the ship where they are cared for by staff and volunteers. The animals have to be fed daily and the tanks cleaned regularly. So why would anyone want to go on a working vacation like this? Well, here's what a few recent participants have to say in answer to that question. The best part about it for me was the team aspect of being involved in this uh, conservation effort and education effort with the other very experienced divers who were really very instructive, very informal, non-pressuring for me as a new diver with my husband. I love it. It's uh, an overall experience that you can't duplicate with any other type of trip or excursion. Uh, each time gets a little easier for me as far as collecting. It's not as easy as it first looks, but once you get to get it together and, and learn how to catch the fish, understand their behavior, anticipate some of their moves, and when you finally put a fish in the bag and see it in the wells for the duration of the trip and ultimately back at the aquarium, it's a very rewarding feeling and uh, it gets easier for me every time. The diving was just spectacular. It's so nice to dive and really have a mission rather than just tootling around and looking at things. It's a very addictive kind of trip. What do you like best about it? Um, I'm not the type to just relax on the beach for a vacation, so this really is a lot more. You get to do a lot of interesting things, see interesting dive sites, uh, you learn a lot about fish. Uh, that kind of thing really inter interests me. Is it a trip you'd do again? Yes, definitely. So for me, it's great because it's educational, it's informational, it's team building, it's, uh, it's really contributing to something. You just feel like you're part of a team uh, for a worthwhile cause. If you want an out of the ordinary dive vacation, consider becoming a citizen scientist and join the New England Aquarium staff on a marine specimen collecting expedition aboard the RV Coral Reef 2. Help the aquarium continue to fulfill its mission to present, promote, and protect the world of water.